So I'm going to show you how to make drop down menus. For drop down menus, I mean like this in my plugin, where you click on like uh, a text label and then a menu will drop down and it has a bunch of buttons in it. So it's pretty simple. So I'm going to get started. So in starter GUI, you want to insert a screen GUI. And this will be the holder for all the GUIs. So I'll just name this like main GUI. And then insert a text button. And then on size, make sure the offset is set to zero. <clears throat> so it looks the same on all screens. And I'll make it like this. That looks nice enough. And then I'll just name this drop down menu. And then name this the same drop down. And then inside your button, also make sure border size pixel is zero. So it looks like it was a little border. So in the button, you want to insert a frame, and this is going to be what drops down. So again, set the offsets to zero, and then scale like that, and then remove border size pixel. I'll just make this, actually, I'll just keep it white. So this will be how it looks when it drops down. And then just name this menu. Now inside this menu, you want to insert a UI list layout. This will just this is just the easier way to lay out lists. And then I'll insert a text label, and then I'll set the offset to zero again, and then scale it to the size I want. So like this, and then uh, I'll set the text to test label. And then I'll set the padding on this to five and then just duplicate this a couple times. And then set the border size pixel to zero. Like that. So now we have uh, our menus in the drop down. Actually, let me lower this a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> so we have the labels in there. Now we want to start off with the closed position, which is going to be right here. And then make sure it's also. Uh, the visible set to false when it's closed. So in this drop down button, insert a local script. And then we have to create the tweens. So first you have to do local tween service equals game get service tween service. Local tween info equals tween info dot new. Tween info is the info we're going to use for the tween. So it knows like the time, the easing style and stuff like that. So the tween time is going to be 0.3 or whatever time you want. Easing style it will be enum.easingstyle.quad, which is what I think looks best. Enum.easingdirection.out, zero, false, zero. Um, this is mostly always going to be zero, false, zero, because it's just repeat count, reverse, and uh, delay time. Most of the time, you won't even need those. So this is all you need right here. Now we have to create the open and close tween. So local open tween equals tween service. Create. The instance is going to be the menu. So script.parent.menu. Tween info. Make sure it's the uh, the one up here. It's not the not this one, but the both capitals. Make sure the T on this one is not capital. And then, yeah. And then the third parameter is going to be our table, which stores what we want the tween to do so like the end position so i'll just do size equals udim dot udim two dot new and then uh on the menu the size this is going to be our closed size actually no this can be open sized so let's drag it to how you where you want it to be opened i'll drag it to like right here copy that and then paste it in there and make sure to move these squiggly brackets like that and then set it back to that this is going to be our closed position so we basically do the same here just copy that and then make this closed tween and then just copy the size and then put it in here like that now we have to do the click function so script dot parent dot mouse button click connect function now we do oh we have to create our open variable 
so local open plus false so then we do if not open then we have the open so open tween play open equals true else um close tween play open equals false and when we open it we have to make the menu visible so we'll just do script.parent.menu visible equals false and on this one i'm gonna do tasks.wait 0.3 and then set the menu to false so it waits until the tween is completed before it sets the menu to false so you can actually see it close script.parent.menu visible equals false now if you go ahead and click play okay so i accidentally set it to false twice make sure if open equals false then set visible to true and then if um else set it to false so now it should work so if you click play and then click on the menu you see it drops down and shows all the labels in there and then you click on it again it closes and all the menus close so it's pretty nice um yeah so if you need help with this you can join my server link in the description below um, also, make sure to subscribe. I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers. And if you want to support me, you can buy my plugin. Link in the description below. It has all my video models in it. It has a virus scanner. You can also add your own custom scripts into it by selecting a script and clicking add selected scripts. And it'll add it to here. And you can insert it yourself.